Mama Needs a Gold. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you're new here, welcome. So finally, finally, finally feels like fall. It has been really, really warm here. And the last few days, it's finally started to cool down a little bit, though I'm a little hot right now because I've been running around doing all kinds of stuff. But I'm finally going to start decorating for fall. Can you see? <laughs> I just started pulling out a few things. Um, and I need to do my tear tray. And I thought, you know what? Why don't I go ahead and share that with you? I do not believe I've decorated this particular tear tray for fall yet this year. I've shared my other ones in the past. And I thought, you know what? I really would like to share it with you all. Um, and I'm going to turn the camera down in a second so you can see it. Um, I still have 4th of July out and we're at the end of September. Um, I did leave this out through the summer and through Labor Day. And then we ended up having a celebration for a friend that had um, just gotten her citizenship. So I we had a small little gathering and I left it together for that as well. So I'm ready to get rid of my uh, patriotic decor <laughs> that's been sitting on my kitchen counter since um, Memorial Day, I believe. Um, so I am ready. I will get, go over it real quick and just show you what I have here. And then I'll pull everything out that I have for fall. I did buy a couple new little pieces at Walmart and Target. I believe I did a Target shopping haul, just a quick little shorts video on that. Um, but I gotta stop talking because this intro is way too long. So let's go ahead, turn the camera down, I'll show you what I have and then we'll put this together for the fall. I have my pumpkin sign up there. Then you come down and I have my patriotic um, tear tray. <laughs> so this is what I have going on right now. Uh, I just pulled out the container here. I have some stuff here that I have and those two containers there and some flowers. We're going to go ahead and pull everything out and take apart that tray and let's see what we can put together. Okay, my friends, so this is everything that I have to work with. I have these sunflowers that I had when I did my son's going away party to college. His school colors are gold and burgundy, so I had tons of those left over, so I'm going to try to incorporate them. I've been using them throughout the house in other things for fall, so... Trying to get my money's worth. I have salt and pepper shaker there, a little pedestal, and some just fall decor. Some of this I used last year. Some leaves. And that little fox is new. And a big acorn. And a little candle. A little signs that says hello fall and gather together are new. And that hayride big sign is new. A little, um, this one here. A little um, cocoa mug or whatever it's called, hot chocolate. So this is everything I have to work with. I cleared everything but the greenery from the tray. I probably will incorporate some of that in there. That's why I left it. So let's go ahead, turn the camera around and get started. All right, my friends, everything is cleaned off. So I'm going to start with the top, I think, first, and then work my way down. I found a couple other little pieces that I might be able to use. I don't know. Um, we'll see. So let's start with the top. So what I normally do is always start with my biggest pieces. And these are the latest two that I just purchased. I really like these, I like the house on these. So um, I think I definitely want to use these in this this year since they are new and I have not had a chance to use them. So since this one is taller, I probably will use that down the bottom. This one I'm gonna use, I think, up top. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is disguise some of that. And I have this here. I think I'm going to use, I actually like to get a couple more of these. And I'm going to put that right in here like that. I actually like the orange, so I think I'm going to flip it around a little bit so the orange shows there. Oh yeah, I like those colors together. See how it pulls the green in here and here? And I do like the orange, so we're going to put that there. 
Okay, and then next, um, I think what I'd like to do, that's uh, a little low. Is that low? I'm gonna keep him. Yeah, I think um, I have this, this is a lid to a broken candle that I use to give myself height. So I think I'm going to add that there like that. There we go. <laughs> what I wanna do. This is another new one that I got this year. Yeah, I can throw it. Oh, oh, that'll work. Oh, 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 I like that. There we go. Like, 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 fills it in nicely. All right. Wow, that was a lot easier than I anticipated. <laughs> And then what we'll do is come back in and fill it in with a little bit of greenery. And I have some little pumpkins and things like that. And um, we'll just finish it off. But in the meantime, I think we're gonna get ahead and work on the bottom. I think I like that, friends. All right, so now we're gonna work on the bottom. Um, I gotta tell you, this one's got me puzzled. <laughs> I'm standing here looking and looking and looking, trying to figure out what I wanna do. I'll put a couple things in and I'm like, oh, I don't know. I'm having a creative block here. So I have an idea what I wanna do. I really, I just purchased this as well and I really like it a lot. And I wanna use, uh, the reason I purchased it was to use in my tear tray. So I'm going, to put this right here. As like I said, I really purchased it for this reason because I knew it would fit and I just love the saying. But I'm really struggling a little bit, friends. As you can see the back is open. Can you see that right in there? So I need some tall things. So this is another thing that I had that I think I'm gonna put in. It's like I got a lot of orange going on. And then I have this candy dish, this pumpkin. And I was thinking about putting that on the side here. I do have a lot of orange going on, but I think, I think um, with adding the flowers and stuff that I'll be okay. And then, you know, my biggest struggle that I'm having is the words. I feel like I have so many words. I thought if I put this here, I've got the words here and the words there and the words here and the words there. And I don't know, it's just not sitting right with me today for some reason. Do you ever have those days where you're having a hard time being creative? <laughs> and today's that day. And then I thought, you know what, let's try the rooster there. What do you think? I like that. I think, um, I think this might need to be lifted a little bit. Oops. So again, I'll just take this little block and I'll sit that on there like that. There we go. And it'll, it'll get hidden. All right. I feel like that's a lot, a lot of orange, but I think we can work with it. I think we can work with it. Let's see. <laughs> All right, my friends. I hope that's a better view for you. All right. There's not a ton of stuff in here. So let's see what we have. We have our pumpkin, the rooster, the farmer's market milk jug, and the sign. So... We're just going to have to really play with the flowers, okay? So let's go ahead and start with the greenery, and then we'll build upon that. So I'm going to go ahead and start tucking in. I don't want a ton of greenery. All 
All right, I just have this little pick here that has like dried apples. I think I'm gonna just tuck that in there like that and just let the, yeah. I'm gonna hang out like that a little bit. I like that side better. There we go. And then I have this little, can we use two of them back here? Let's see. Oh yeah, I like that. That just fills that in nicely. There we go. I like, I like, I like. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring that out and let that one go up. And that hides that dead space back there quite a bit, which I like a lot. All right, my friends, that is working. So I have a couple of these little mini corns. So I think I definitely need to add a little bit more greenery. I changed my mind. I took out the little apple thing. I had two of these and I just decided I think I would rather have this in there like that. Yeah, I think I like that a little bit better. Just flows a little more and then I can just have that little pumpkin there like that. Yeah, I think I like that a tad bit better. All right, I'm going to give you a close-up when I finish the top, but for now, let's head to the top. I got sidetracked. <laughs> okay, my friends. You know, you, the plan that I had in my head when I originally started this honestly did not play out. Um, you know, that happens a lot. So I'm just going to go ahead. Oops. I'm going to take this out for right now while I'm filling in. I'm going to add my greenery in there just like that a little bit there all right my friends so i am really i'm going to be honest with you i am really struggling with putting this together um i today was the day i was going to film this i got everything out i was ready to grow to grow to go and I just started getting a headache and I kind of lost my uh, enthusiasm or my, I don't know what you call it, but it's coming together and I'm <laughs> happy with it. Um, so uh, this I feel like is a little short and I want to give it some height. So again, I'm just going to use the uh, little candle holder top or the candle top to give it just a tad bit height. And then I'm gonna add in some more greenery while everything is out. Now, you know I can't leave it just like that, right? Gotta have some of my corn stuff. <laughs> oh, I just like having it sprinkled about. I just think it adds that farm feel to it. When you go to the pumpkin patch and 
you know how you have all that little grass from the cornfields sticking around <laughs> yeah I am done. All right, let me take the camera down, clean this counter up, and I'll give you a close up. All right, my friends, just a little bit more tweaking, added some more greenery and a little bit more hay, and it's done. I think it turned out pretty good. It was not at all nothing like I had, I had envisioned. I'm going to be honest with you. I struggled putting it together. I started it, stopped it, came back again, and then this is what it became. And I honestly, this is not what I had in mind. So um, let me quickly go over it and show you how it all turned out. So then my little squirrel there, and we have some corn, a little pumpkin with some floral in it, and we have the little sign that says gather, gather, gather together. And then, you know, just put in that greenery with some of the hay. And there's that pumpkin on the side. And then down here, we have, we have the sign that says, hay rides, hay rides, bonfires, leaves, sweaters, and pumpkins. This is the sign I was trying to work around. I just really liked it a lot. And I'm going to be honest with you, I really wanted to use it. I was determined to use it. And I think that's why my vision was not coming together. The sign was just throwing me off. But in the end, I think it really turned out cute. And then I just have this whole area here is a floral pick that just fills in that area nicely. And again, just that greenery. I had the little farmer's market milk jug. Put in my little rooster there. And then those big sunflowers. And again, I wanted to use those sunflowers on my candy dish there. Some more corn. And added some more little corns. The greenery. And there we have it, my friends. There it is. I'll add some pictures at the end of this so you can get some better close up. This is what it looks like. I'm actually pleased with the way it turned out. Um... Though I am a little disappointed my vision did not come to fruition. It's so bizarre how that happened. Next year. Next year, next year. <laughs> but anyway, this is what it looks like for this year. Alright my friends, I really hope you enjoyed this video. As I said, this is not the vision that I had. Um, <laughs> I think I'm still in shock because I had this completely opposite idea of how I wanted it to turn out and um, the creative juices just were not flowing and um, I just started working it, on it and it became something else and you know what that's okay it doesn't always turn out the way you thought it was going to turn out but I really like the way this one turned out so it's a win-win right <laughs> so anyway friends thank you so much for joining me i do appreciate it if you haven't already subscribed please consider subscribing as it does greatly help me out and don't forget to go check me out over on facebook instagram pinterest and twitter as well as i am active on those social media sites too so friends keep watching for more fall decorating thanks again and i will catch up with you next time bye